Many fans of Franchise Mode, myself included, were a little bit disappointed to see that Franchise Mode took a backseat in getting improvements this year at the expense of a new season mode in MLB The Show 19 called March to October. But I believe that March to October isn't just a season mode, and that it is actually San Diego Studios' vision for the future of Franchise Mode. Right now is a pivotal moment in time for Franchise Mode, so I'd really appreciate if you took the time to watch and leave your feedback below if Franchise is your favorite mode just like it is mine. Now before we jump into the reasoning behind that, let me explain what March to October is for those that do not know. And shout out to Ryan McCaffrey at IGN for letting me use some of this juicy footage throughout the entire video. You're the man. March to October is a brand new game mode for MLB The Show 19. In March to October, you will take control of only your favorite team's key games and moments. As you advance through the season, unique narrative commentary content will progressively and dynamically unfold the essential story of your chosen MLB club's campaign. You'll be delivered from episode to episode with maximum action and intrigue and the minimal menu interface. It's all about getting your team to the postseason and beyond. Your poise under pressure will determine the fate of your chosen team's season. March October comes with more than 100 unique team theme rewards earned by winning the World Series with your team of choice. The harder the difficulty, the bigger the spoils. All in all, March October is a mode that's designed from all the user data from people who play Road to the Show and Franchise Mode. This user data that I'm talking about is data that shows that almost all Franchise Mode players don't play every game in one season. Almost all Franchise Mode players don't play every inning of each game. Almost all Franchise Mode players never finish multiple seasons. Almost all Franchise Mode players play along with the MLB season. Now, in an interview over at Operation Sports, Nick Livingston, who is the lead game designer of MLB The Show 19, said, I wanted to give users a a curated experience that's fun and exciting. Provides something that wasn't so daunting. See, Nick believes that franchise mode can be very cumbersome as well as an overwhelming experience for the casual gamer. He said most users playing 162 games will take a long, long time. While simulating some or all of the experience as an alternative, Livingston holds the view that this entirely takes the control away from the user. I wanted to put the control totally in the player's hands, where their play is going to decide outcomes for the season, something Nick said. So it's very clear what they're trying to do here. They're trying to design for the casual gamer. But if that's the case, why not deliver features that both hardcore and casual players would want, such as rebranding, relocation, stadium creator, more immersive franchise presentation and environments like in Road to the Show. Now, I'm not sure of the exact rationale, but if YouTube and Twitter comments are any indication, people are very unhappy that franchise mode hasn't received the thoughtfulness in features in comparison to Road to Show in Diamond Dynasty. But my thought is we actually have seen a massive improvement in franchise mode. That March to October is the first step to evolving franchise to be story driven, narrative building, a curated experience, as opposed to giving complete control and customization. Now when asked about the future of franchise mode, Nick replied, I would really answer that question differently depending on the person I'm talking to. Right now it's a set of knobs and levers in a simulation baseball environment. We certainly don't want to lose those aspects. We don't want to lose that flexibility Ability. We want to continue to innovate in the game and how you do those things. What is franchise mode is a question that we know people have very different answers to. There's a long list of stuff we want to improve, but this year we're finally able to get over some of those hurdles such as implementing contract improvements. All right, so imagine this. Imagine March to October being a multi-year way to play through franchise mode. As it's designed right now, you can only choose one team and play through one season, but imagine if the design of March to October continued through free agency spring training, touched on the first year player draft, and all-star break. It could even let you manage and play as some of your biggest prospects in your organization, as well as make some owner mode style choices. And lastly, sometime in the future, maybe it could help you relocate and rebrand an entire team. I'm not gonna lie, this could be really cool if done well. I could see myself enjoying this as it would help me get through an entire season much faster than I do now. It also helped me with my play format. I mean, right now I try and play one game out of every series and one minor league game each month. But even then, it's a long process. Right now, the only way to really get through multiple seasons is to be a diehard power user to play every single game religiously or to simulate like K Nasty or Trey does for their franchises. But here's the kicker. If this is going to work, you have to have the option to toggle in and out of a March to October style franchise at any moment. If history's ever told us anything, it's that forcing people into one path over another 
another never bodes well in the end. So there you have it. I think that March October is the future of franchise mode. And with that being said, I'd like to know what you think about that. Would you like it? Would you even play it? Or do you want franchise mode the way it is right now, ultimate control, super deep, and you just want them to add all the bells and whistles? Now, like I've said before, I believe this is a paramount moment in time for MLB The Show's franchise mode. So please, 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 please leave your feedback down below so that the San Diego Studios development team can see it. Thanks so much for tuning into this one, guys. Until the next one, we'll see ya. Peace.